Well, there you are, everybody. How's it going? It's Curtis Track Rider Trucking. Hey, sorry about the delay on talking to you all, but uh, hey, I'm sitting here in the Wash Bay at Prime Command, I'll call it now. But uh, yeah, it's about like 2 o'clock in the morning here on the uh, 22nd. And why is the reason I'm at Prime? It's a long, long story. But what we're going to do is we're going to get settled in here. I've got a couple, about an hour and 50 minutes left on my clock. Uh, basically, I'm not here because of something wrong with the truck. In fact, the truck's been running real great. Not a problem. Knock on wood. But, uh, yeah, I had to bring in a trailer for repower because of the fact is my 70-hour clock kind of drained. And... Uh, I brought this load in from Indiana, uh, from uh, Logan's Port, or Logan's Port, Indiana. Supposed to take it. I was got the load, and I was supposed to take it to uh, El Paso, Texas. One of my been one of my first loads down there, solo. Well, I think they overdid themselves because the last load I was on, and we'll talk about all these loads that I've been on. Because it seems these Tyson loads, you know, there's a problem. Every time you get a Tyson load, you've got a dead time to get there. But it doesn't matter. Once you get there, you'll sit there for freaking however long. Like I had my experience the last few days ago, 34 hours. And then the one in Rogers for 20 hours. And then it just seems like it's just continuous. But the only good thing was the place that I went in, in, in Logan's Sport. Logan's Port, Indiana, that Tyson plant was, my trailer was already ready to rock and roll, and I was delayed at my 90, about 100 miles away, for about six hours, for them to offload me, so it put me in a dilemma, but thank God it was a drop and hook at the 90, or at the 01, so I was able to still go get it with no, no penalties or anything problem was my clock shot I ended up having to spend the night there re reset my clock get my 10 hour break in called my fleet manager this morning and he said man I said can is there any I want to keep this load as a hell of a paying load for a solo driver that would have been sweet on my freaking first you know first first settlement well not first settlement first trip on the on the new settlement uh, you can't a solo driver can't pass up no $2,800. That You just don't do that. I, I don't care who you are. You can be a veteran or whatever, but that's a good start to a, 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 a week. Well, duh. Of course, that, that you know, everything can't be peaches and cream anymore. It never is, but, you know, it is what it is. But he tried to get them to move the uh, appointment another 24 hours out. That's what I needed was an extra day. Yeah, my, my, my hours are kind of screwy, but I wasn't going to start recaps until tomorrow night at midnight. And then I, I worked it out to where I know I could have done it. I just needed an extra. I, I, I think I could have done it within 12 hours. But the problem is Tyson makes the appointments, so there's no change in the appointments, according to my fleet manager. <coughs> so anyway, I brought, the back, I brought it back to Prime. Now, if anybody's here that watches my channel, I'm going to be here probably until Friday morning. And why I say that, I'm not going to get another truck because the fact is, I mean, another trip until I take care of some minor stuff. But it's going to be here on site because uh, I just need to. Because I'm, I'm going home next week for one day because I have a, a annual, uh, an annual physical with the veteran, the VA, to get maintain my status as a as a disabled American veteran. So, I'm just doing this just to get revamped, to get myself together, because uh, I've been driving nights and I have a problem with sleep apnea. Apnea, not not breathing apnea, not the that crap there, not wearing the mask, but I have a problem sleeping during the daytime. I don't care if you shut this curtain down, you can't see nothing, it's pitch black. It's the mind thing but I'm starting to get used to it to where I can actually go do what I gotta do. So anyway, I just thought I'd rant a little bit about what's been going on 
and I want to talk about something else that I had mentioned and I, I talked about in the heat of moment and I need to keep that to myself uh, about a certain uh, night fleet manager uh, I I was a little bit harsh but you know it just seems like uh, it needs to be addressed but not 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 on I'm not on the social media it should be addressed with, with my fleet manager and the individual himself. So I feel like recanting that whole episode, you know, and I probably should have just deleted it. And yeah, I did mention the, the individual's name and I should not have. And that's a regret on my part. So I don't know. It's, it is what it is and it just continues every time. I just dread it whenever they inch, yeah, the individual answers the phone and never a good it's never a good vibe I don't think but anyway guys I just wanted to talk to you all and just say hey I'm alive I'm well I am a prime if anybody's here or anybody's going to be here I'm going to be here till probably Friday morning I've set my PTA for like uh, 6, 0600 so I'm going to be here all day today and then I'll leave out tomorrow but I've got to take care of some stuff while I'm in here so you know kind of look for the little red truck 801-289, you'll find me. I'll be running around here somewhere. I'm more than likely, I'm going to try to go park at the park, but I don't know. I, that, it looks like everybody's brother's here, so I have no clue. I'm going to have to drive around a little bit and find me a place. I had to get my truck washed. I mean, that, that freight yard just tore my truck up, man. I mean, totally mud infested. That's all I've rode in for the last few days is rain. And then I get in this yard, and it's that chalky white crap. Oh man, it just trashed my truck and the inside of my truck. Basically, I'm gonna to have to clean that myself, get a couple of rags and towels and do it myself. But anyway, guys, just ranting, talking to you. A shout out again, hey, driverslineup.com, man. Awesome, awesome freaking channel. And I thank you and I thank you. I watched that little episode a while ago of you guys recognizing the truck drivers and that's an awesome video. I don't know. I got to get with you, Eric, because I mean, I'd like to set up something for my channel to where I can, you know, do the intros on my channel too, like you do. I'm just not illiterate enough to do that. But man, you guys, you guys knocked it out of the ballpark, and I, I appreciate the recognition with me on there too, and I know everybody else about on there. Uh, thank you for that, man. That's uh, that's awesome. I appreciate that, and I hope you like the comment I put on your on that. Uh, on that uh, recording and everything uh, but I, I i consider you and jenna a sister and brother on the open highway and always will you guys are awesome i hope one of these days we get hooked up and and sit down and maybe have some dinner or something you know but that'd be awesome uh but uh, appreciate both of you very much and thanks for the backup thanks for the shout outs and everything but uh again if anybody's watching this from my channel on my truck but I mean, if you you've got to go hook up with these people they're phenomenal they'll help you they'll talk they explain situations and it's driverlineup.com they're great people they've got a youtube channel as well and they've got another channel that we're that they've been working out on like a chat channel and i guess they'll have to get you involved with that if you start talking to them but great people great information and they're just awesome i mean and now I guess they're going to be a neighbor to me because they're moved to Springfield because I live in Missouri. I live in Branson, Missouri. So we're going to become homies, I guess you could say. So it's great to have them and great to be, be a part of their, their program as well. So anyway, I quit ran it and I quit. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm wore out. I had a full day of driving. I don't even know what, how much I drove today. You have nine hours and 50 minutes of remaining yeah. drive time. Let's see. I drove... Over 554 miles last night. I got 93 added on today. So I drove 10 hours and 48 minutes total. Now that's including what I drove in overnight and two. I didn't get in there till like two or four or five o'clock this morning. <coughs> but anyway, good, good rolling on this one. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you be. I'll let you go. I will talk to you all soon. Hopefully, if everything pans out and I get everything finished today, if I don't hook up with somebody here, we might just do a live right here from Prime, and we'll, we'll, uh, I'll make sure we'll look into that. If I decide to do it, it'll be early this evening, so just kind of keep your eyes peeled. 
if you see it coming up. But anyway, again, thanks everybody for what you've done. Uh, all you drivers out there, I appreciate what you've done for the world, for the United States and everything. Let's keep this America going. And don't remember, a couple of weeks, folks, we got to vote. We need to get out there and vote, vote, vote. And hopefully you vote for the right person. And that's, that's you know, that's, the, that's being an American. You do what you got to do for yourself. But, you know, we got to vote. We got to make sure things stay straight and not crooked or not totally messed up. But anyway, I did to vote early, so I've already done. I already got who I wanted. I voted for the person I wanted, and I'm happy. And and I just hope everything goes and, and gets done right. But anyway, I'm ready. Okay. Talk to you guys later, okay? I promise I'm leaving now, all right? Always remember, take care of yourselves out there, and remember continuously. We always keep driving, and we always strive for perfection. Y'all have a great evening. Talk to you soon. Bye.